emotional supports for babies absolutely but artistic muses let's talk more but first if you are interested in animal communication natural pet care and interviews with experts in the fields of animal care and advocacy this is the place for you just hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified about our weekly videos Come on, all you doggies, won't you walk with me? I'm the puppet, 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 puppet dog. I believe very strongly that animals can help us tap into our creative intuition. And I have found that personally, I have found that with my clients. For me, that really came out with the Misha Songs album. You hear those songs on my videos in the intro and outro. I believe that there's these artists lying within all of us, which may or may not come out in the form of you know drawing or painting or music the things that we traditionally think of as art but i think they can help you even in your work to be more creative and this is kind of all based around animal communication animals are here to help us grow in many different ways and i think that what's most important is that we honor them and give them re the respect that they deserve for wanting to help us do this. I like to make animal communication not so sort of intimidating. So I'm just gonna make this very simple, especially in these crazy times, I think people are a little overwhelmed. This is actually the week of the presidential election. And so I wanna make this very short and sweet. So uh, just to give you a little tip, I would suggest that if you're gonna work with having your animal help you tap into your creativity and artistic side, that you do make it very intentional so this may be a matter of walking with them just like i did with misha but when you go on that walk you're going to want to be free of distractions take out those earphones and just be present if you have an animal where taking them on a walk can lead to distractions like you're working on pulling or some kind of reactivity with other animals either make sure you're going to do this in a place where that's not going to be the focus or perhaps go if you have a backyard uh, maybe do this back there you can also do this without walking but just being present with them so what i would suggest for the walking part is to focus like this is a walking meditation some of you may have done walking meditation it's just very simple it's just about being mindful and present as you step on the ground you're actually noticing your foot as it hits the ground as it rolls off the ground you are getting more in tune with the earth as you walk. You take in, you notice what's around you, but then you say, okay, that's what's going on around me. I'm now like not gonna focus on the cars and this and that and the other thing. I am very present. And then you're gonna say, okay, I wanna hear anything that my animal might have to say to me. I'm gonna be open to this. You don't have to force it. Just set that as the intention and keep going and just see what comes to you. The key here is don't dismiss it. Do not say, oh, this is silly or it's inconsequential. If I had done that, I wouldn't have this album inspired by Misha who is now no longer in her physical body. And it means a great deal to me that I have this collection of songs that, was, that were inspired by her and I've even written a children's book about it. It isn't published yet, but the point is, is that I'm just so happy that I took the time especially while she was here to to be able to put all of that together so i encourage you to have faith in what you're doing and if you don't want to do this in a walking situation uh, even if you're in your home or if it's you know whether you can be in be outside and sit with them i think it helps sometimes when you're sitting to have some kind of connection with your animal even if you're just putting your hand on them and then just see what happens as you sit and be present with them you know, let all the distractions fall away and your intention is to sit with them and be present. You may want to have some essential oils diffusing uh, just to help you be more in the present and to kind of raise your energy. Again, the key here is to trust this inspired creativity. Just know that it's, it's so important and valuable because it came from your time with your pet and that's what makes it special. Thank you so much for listening. And please let me know below if you tried this, what happened, or if you're someone who has had experience of being inspired by your pet. And by the way, if you're interested in the music from the Misha Songs album, there is a link below for more. If you're interested in contacting me for my work as an animal communicator or animal massage or acupressure energy work practitioner or essential oils or CBDs, you can find me at Anne with an E at intuitivetouchanimalcare.com. Go to my website, intuitivetouchanimalcare.com. Thank you so much. God bless.
Rub my belly. Rub my belly.